Okay guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to talk about something completely different. Um, this, these releases that I'm going to show today, the three that I'm going to show, aren't from Japan, but they're from the, from the UK. <clears throat> the name of the band is Zoviet France. Um, I shouldn't say band, they're not really a band. Um, they're more of a sort of uh, collective. Um, they're a sort of noise, ambient sort of group. Um, most of the original members of which are not in there anymore. Ben Ponton is one of the guys that still does the Soviet France stuff. Um, and the reason I wanted to show these releases is because of their interesting packaging. So generally speaking, the early releases for Soviet France were handmade, as you can see here. Um, lots of you know, interesting materials. And from a design perspective, I think these are really fascinating. So you can see here, this is the first edition of this release and it came sort of on this hand screen printed masonite board, art board, um, bound together with this red, red string um, and with some graphics printed on the back, like a logo type of thing. Uh, this came out in 1981, I believe. Okay, and then the actual vinyl itself, which I've put in some nicer sleeves, but there you go. It's got some sort of hand screen printed graphics on it there. Um, so yeah, really interesting way of delivering, I think, a, a vinyl release for this type of music, and it really certainly does match the tone of the music. Um, so again, from a design perspective, you know, it's something that um, I think it really works. And then you've got this release, Norsh is the name of this one. So this is, again, unusual looking packaging. So we've got some sort of spray painted, it's not quite tin foil, it's sort of thicker than tin foil. I'm not sure if it was actual tin foil. So, uh, and then on the back, some embossed text with the Soviet France logo there. And then on the inside, uh, you've got this piece of it's just cardboard uh, with some screen printed graphics and then the actual LP itself there. Um, again, yeah, totally matches the style of the music. It has a sort of physicality to it that really suits this type of handmade release. Okay, and then the next one is their, some of their later work, which is the earlier stuff is really... Uh, analog based and then in the 2000s the 90s and the 2000s they moved to a more digital style um, this one's really interesting um, so this is a collaborative piece um, called patina pooling and the vinyl release came in the same style packaging here but i just didn't have the money for that but it's yeah essentially a piece of rusted steel uh, with the disc on the inside, sandwiched between a couple of pieces of of board. So I'll take that out, and you can see there that the metal kind of leaves its mark. So I've got it stored in like a plastic sleeve as well. You've got a traditionally printed piece of card there with some track listing. So yeah, it's fossil aerosol mining project is the name of the other artist that they teamed up with this for this one excellent excellent release and then on a standard pressed cd there but again really matches the style of the music so thinking from a design perspective you know i think that's something to consider if you're in a band and you're or in a you know you're producing your own releases or whatever it certainly is more relevant i think than getting traditionally printed covers so leave a comment if you're a soviet france fan i'd love to hear from other soviet france fans otherwise thanks for watching